Hi, this is Kate Davis with today's Bricker Briefing on Pandemic Child Care. As you know, when Governor DeWine closed daycares in the state of Ohio last month due to COVID-19, he also created what's known as a Temporary Pandemic Child Care License to enable entities to continue providing child care services for children of essential workers. Just last week, it was announced that the state of Ohio will be receiving $65 million to fund new temporary pandemic child care centers, and it will be receiving an additional $90 million to fund child care going forward for the next two fiscal years. ODE has expressly announced that school buildings may be used for this type of child care. Now that we know school buildings will be closed for the remainder of the school year, this is an option a school district may wish to consider. The school district could partner with an outside entity, such as a YMCA or a church, to provide this type of programming. Another option would be for an ESC to partner with its member districts in order to provide this type of childcare. If you're interested, I would encourage you to work with your local boards of education to obtain any necessary permission. You should also review the state regulations to make sure that your facilities can accommodate this type of programming. You'll also want to consider staffing. Will you use volunteers? And if so, do you have the appropriate background checks and waivers in place to do so? And finally, you'll want to review your policies to amend any necessary policies and to create any new ones out of whole cloth in order to operate the program. I would also encourage you to check out the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services website. If you go to their pandemic child care page, you'll find the application process detailed in full. In the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and I look forward to seeing you in person again soon. Thanks.